I'm getting ready to go crawl. And the first thing that we need to do when we go crawl is to make sure that we have everything that we need to go crawl. So let's do that today. So let me know when the last time you went out to crawl or even better, where you went out to crawl and you had to get your rig ready. So the first thing you probably need to do is be able to see properly and these shades inside don't help. So let's just set these aside. And I'd like to go crawl this mini Capra. What we want to make sure is that we have fresh or good enough batteries in our radio. That's, that's key. Can't tell you how many times I went out there and my radio went dead and I had no way to either charge it or refresh the batteries. And we also need to make sure that our battery for the rig is nice and charged. This one came with the Capra and it's got a little charger that charges through our balance plug on this particular one. So you plug it in, you probably wait oh, about an hour or so and you will be ready to go. This one's ready. Then what I would ideally do is look over the rig. Before we get out of here, we need to make sure that there's nothing loose, nothing missing, and that we end up bringing our tools with us. So this guy actually has all of our wheel nuts covered on here. So ideally, I'm not saying that you have to do this every time, but ideally I would take all of those off and then I would just make sure that they're all tight. Another alternative is that you can literally just kind of shake your wheels, you give them a little old one two here one of these numbers and you can feel if they're getting loose on the hex and a lot of times the front ones are going to get looser quicker than the rear or it's going to be your right side to get loose or or your left side depending on how you drive and which way they're threaded they should all be threaded normally uh let's let's, let's see which way was it that if i can remember correctly uh, uh, yeah it's the right side that ends up loosening over time generally and if you take your wheels off and put them back on a lot, those lock nuts are actually gonna get worn out. I got a little nylon, little nylock on there, which is why I got a whole new bag from Incision of these guys, because over time, those little lock washers will kind of wear out and they just back out, a little bit of a hassle, right? So besides your wheels, which are the biggest point, you just wanna go through and make sure that you don't have anything loose on there. A lot of times your drive shafts, you know, see, you can visually see, hey, are those set screws poking out? Uh, do we need to, to do any tightening? It looks like the rear might possibly be loosening a little bit. So we put this little 1.5 millimeter driver in there. Just a little, oh yeah, that, 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 that one was loosening a little bit. And that's something that you, you have to go through and check periodically. It's really kind of like a, a general maintenance sort of thing. So there we go. I think everything is tight on here. Another one is a servo horn. That's a really typical one. You always want to put some Loctite on your servo horn because it is a metal screw. Well, if it's a metal, uh, metal output servo horn, I should say, metal screw going into a metal output, you will want to make sure that guy is tight. This one's probably a plastic output, so it's not going to get loose. But this part gets beaten on the rocks a lot. So our little screw that goes into the servo horn, you know, really, you just got to kind of look over everything and make sure it's not coming loose. So that's the check that I do. And then before I'm leaving, I want to make sure that I have my battery, I have my radio, I have my rig, and I have my tools. These tools would include everything that you need. I would probably say a 1.5, a 2 millimeter, a 2.5, and a 3 millimeter is pretty standard on here. And then a nut driver for your wheels, which a lot of times I just have a little T-wrench, but the T-wrench is currently in my crawling backpack and not on the table. So you'll have to take my word for it. You probably want to just bring a T-wrench along unless you have nut drivers for your wheels. So there you go. That's pretty much what I do to prepare. Let me know in the comments if you have something different that you look at, or maybe you have a different routine, or there's something that is more important to you that maybe I just forgot this time. So let me know about that in the comments. And otherwise, I hope you're going to go have fun and crawl. Thanks for tuning in. Have a great day.